Here are 30 things you didn't know about CS2, like this jumpy self boost. It's early beta, so a lot can and hopefully will change. Like some of these crazy wall banks that are based on the good old first material counts logic, just find places where you can shoot softer materials like wood first and it'll give you access to epic places that are reachable even with the useless clock. You can climb Xbox from both left and right. Similarly to CSGO, you can see shadows even when player model is fully hidden inside the smoke. Keep that in mind when doing your Hames Bond stuff. If a decoy gets badly stuck, it can hurt your ears like Nicki Minaj is live. Next up, I have heard countless tubers saying CT and T smokes are in different colors. Yes, they do pop in different colors, but the smokes will actually change color depending on how long they have been there. CT smokes start from cold bluish, T smokes start from warmer yellowish colors and they both end up kinda gray. So if I'd screenshot this, there can't be many people who would guess correctly which side had bought which smoke. Also, smokes do last around 20 seconds, which is a couple of seconds more than in CSGO, but that's probably because they could never fix all the nade bugs Monacy came up with and they made it official in CS2 with nades having the power of erasing smokes for a moment. In order for that to happen, you need to nade in the very center of the smoke though, and it's not always that easy to fully clear it. That track doesn't show zeros in front of the frag count anymore, which makes the display much cleaner. A vanilla movement guide, alpha testing, helped me to discover this new, currently existing movement mechanic, where if you jump, crouch, and then when releasing the crouch, jump again, you might get a nice boost out of it. AT himself enjoys the mechanic to the max, and although he said that the self short boost seems actually not possible, at least consistently, then there are some self boosts that for skilled guys like alpha could be useful as f it all looks so smooth and tasty, but sadly it's not that easy to get a hang of it. Shadow Dagger's pullout game is now stronger as the animation doesn't move your crosshair anymore. This was a big no-no for some people to not to use them in CSGO. Alrighty, one-way smokes aren't a thing anymore, but sneaky smokes are surely still there. And if you don't want to miss any future weird ideas on them, you should totally subscribe. It is worth checking your radar at times, as Victor here was completely in the smoke with zero vision, yet enemy got revealed on his radar. Not exactly sure why it happened, but probably because of the little to none distance and the fact he accidentally aimed at the enemy while still being at the very edge of the smoke. This way of holding p tons push is still OP if you're okay to spend two of your manpower over there or just pixel walk it solo, super general. Next up, AWP or any zoomed weapon is not fully accurate anymore when you're inside the Molotov, making those early inside the fire peaks less likely to happen. Inaccuracy isn't that bad though, so the move might make sense in some extra surprising cases. Player models can get wounded. When comparing flashbangs, CS2 flashes have received a little buff, they pop a bit quicker, making your screen full white instantly, and when it comes to the beep audio, then in CS2 you lose a lot of your hearing for a couple of seconds as well. So when in CSGO it was common to hear I'm blind he's pushing info, then when you lose your hearing in combination with your vision you can't really give any info out for those couple of seconds, this makes future flash plays extra powerful. By the way, turning won't help at all for your audio loss. The closer you are to an exploding flashbang, the worse your audio will be. So if you go in with dodging a flash and someone starts shooting at you, it might take you extra time to understand where they do it from. It's harder to move a bomb with a ball in CS2. And bomb beeps when you hit it with a ball like object. We can inspect Zeus's, but although we are aiming straight at the leg, we can't Zeus ourselves. Maybe it's again my bad aim. Right now, you can throw molotovs very closely under the smoke and they would still burn. It's also interesting that if I would drop here on the lower box, I would take molotov damage, but not when the same smoke is down. So if your player model is inside a smoke, it still somewhat holds back the molotov damage. When a bomb is planted, the bomb dot is moving as crazy as dancers in Macarena music video. For the skins people who have a lot of items, there's no scroll bar in inventory, meaning that if you have thousands of items, it challenges your finger biceps to get down there. An easy two-man tower over the Xbox smoke. 
CS2 radar shows your noise distance. It can show multiple at the same time as three different circles keep on activating here depending on how loud the exact sound is that I make. And as you can see from the radar, every jumping makes noise. There is no such thing as silent jump up to something. If you want to be completely silent, pick a route where you can fully walk without jumping. You can still silent drop down from not too tall things. It works similarly to CSGO. You need to be crouching and releasing it in the air. So it works as a great WRC suspension and no sound would be played. Now you should keep using the corner idea when nading short or A plat. This gives an amazing result with little to none effort compared to jumping right click or normal throw. Alrighty, when a bomb is dropped down, it starts making this very quiet beeping noise. You can also see it on the radar as a T, but if you do have epic hearing as CT, it could technically lead you to find the bomb even if you don't see it. In the middle of action, it's highly unlikely though, as the beeping is extremely quiet. A new crouching animation keeps sliding your legs. This is fresh as in CSGO, crouching happens a bit differently. Grenade throwing works similarly to CSGO. You have left click throw, a right click throw, a double click throw. Plus if you hold and release left and right click with different timings, you get middle varied throws. So there are loads of potential raw distances if you master it. Now jump throw is different. Instead of a jump throw bind, you can get all your throws done with regular time jump. That's very forgiving. Whenever you hear the or sound by your character, it means you nailed it and this will land with your regular jump throw trajectory, no surprises there. Snacks teach me a trick that when you right click knife a clock, you can send them flying. I tested it in CS2 and at first clock didn't fly at all until it launched and I could never find it again. Later on I found a spot where ground can hide your weapons so maybe it went there. Anyways now it's confirmed that the same cool uncommon mechanic works in CS2 as well. Just find the sweet spot and enjoy the fireworks. Since you can see your own shadow, pay attention to it at all times to understand shadow advantage spots, where you wanna stand, where you don't wanna stand, where you need to white swing etc. Shadows can also be visible on these smokes. And if someone decides to push the smoke, they're gonna look like living hotbox for a second. The decoy comparison looked pretty similar. They seemed to randomly last for around 15 to 21 seconds in both versions. The only thing that seemed to be changed is the fact that decoys produce no cool smoke in CS2, as the game is all about clean visuals. By the way, if you have low buy but one loud gun in teammates' hands, go all buy decoys and let them throw them to create beautiful audio distraction for enemies. Next up, a little wall bank from Xbox to car. Clearing B has never been easier. There's a little Christmas vibe near this box on A. If you are scared about CTs pushing mid hard, here's a great pixel walk position to surprise them from. Every item you drop down makes now a different sound cue, so if you pay attention, you can tell when they drop bomb, when a pistol, etc. Meaning that it's harder to fake stuff, and when you accidentally drop bomb on the ground, the whole enemy team might now know which part of the map the bomba is. You do hit football harder, when CSGO had messy type of control touch, this CS2 has Haaland's touch. By the way, after less than 24 hours, the CS2 trailer got already more views than the Valorant trailer in 3 years, and this can only mean one thing, Counter-Strike is dead.